What's going on everybody? Kwaku here back with another video. Today I wanted to show you guys an application called WSA Tools. Uh, this was originally on GitHub where it required you to go through command lines in order to then install, download and install Android apps from third party you know, sources like an Android app website. Uh, but this one, it has a full GUI or graphical user interface and it's basically so straightforward and so easy to do um, that it just works and best of all, it's free. Uh, and so basically what APKs are, are just Android app packages. Um, basically that's the application you're trying to download and install. That's what it comes in, similar to a .exe. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. It's straightforward, it'll be very short and sweet. And also uh, some potential things that you might want to consider uh, now that you can in fact install third-party Android apps that are not on the terrible Amazon App Store. So stay tuned for that going forward. Alrighty, so right now we're on my desktop here and all we have to do is go to the Microsoft Store, type in WSA Tools, which you probably already saw me type in, uh, and then it is this right here, do not install this, install this right here, click that, and this is it right here by Simone Franco. Uh, like I said, it's a very straightforward application and it looks nice and everything like that. It's easy on the eyes um, and that's how you can install things like say the native Telegram application on your Windows 11 PC. Um, so I'll just hit open and this is pretty much it. This is the application all encompassing. Now, when you first install it, what will happen is it'll ask you to hope you have ADB. Um, and if you don't have ADB, it will install ADB for you. It's a Google Play thing um, that allows you to then install APKs on your computer like natively. So I have a resource that you guys can use to look at APKs if you want. I still recommend using an ad block. Uh, just even if you go to this site, but uh, right here, APK Mirror, you probably heard of it if you know about what I'm talking about. Uh, this allows you to pretty much download any Android app uh, known to man, including the Google app, just, just use the Google application, Google search. Um, so if I hit, say, I don't know, Google, and I search for it, it'll have Chrome and Google app for Android TV, files by Google, the Google app. I'm gonna actually do a test and see if the Google app will truly work. Uh, wait, I have to click it first. And then you see it says show available downloads. There's a whole bunch of versions there. Um, you'll see a bundles uh, and all this stuff. And I guess for me, which one will I pick? I think I'll pick this one right here. So I'll hit this download button right there. And then because it says that I have an ad block, it says uh, I have to wait about 10 seconds in order for this thing to unlock. It says it supports Android Auto. So let's let this thing unlock real quick. Okay, so now it's unlocked and I can hit download APK and then it's gonna start the download and then I can just hit save. And you can see that the APK is downloading to 150 megabytes for the Google app. It's pretty much almost done on my fast internet. And now that it's done, yep, now that it's done, I can just minimize it and then select an APK. Once you get to this step, all I ever do is just go to quick access and I go down to say the Google app. I have other things like Yahoo, like Yahoo Weather and things like that I was testing with and even HBO Max. Um, hit load APK and then you can see that it knows that it is the Google app. It knows where it's coming from, the source. Just hit install. It says it's installing application. Now I had this fail multiple times for me and what I had to do was I had to open up the Amazon App Store first uh, with Windows Subsystem for Android, you know, already installed and stuff. I had to open up the Amazon App Store and sign into it before this part would actually fully load and show this and you see application has succeeded. So hit open application and then give it a few seconds to do its thing. Alrighty, so now that the application has opened up, it was a little janky. Um, it took a little time. I had to open it up like three times, but I expected that for the Google app because the Google app is a little bit different than some of the other Android apps that you'll generally install, such as even uh, Yahoo Finance. So if I type in Yahoo Finance or Yahoo Weather, you can see right there, I have Yahoo Weather. So let me just, in fact, type in weather because I think that's what it's under. And this is it right here. This is another Android application that is uh, that I installed through it. Um, it says, do you want to allow uh, device location? I can just hit uh, only this time. And then it's going to go through the usual things that Yahoo Weather uh, wants you to go through. Let's you pick some popular places. I'll just hit continue for this purpose. Let's you see where the weather is, uh, where you are. Um, I'll just hit not now. 
and there you go so just like that you can see that yahoo weather in fact even works and in fact if i want to increase the size and maybe even put google search right next so that i can do that it doesn't seem to know about tablet mode but if i click things like this it'll just work you can hit current location and it'll work it's just i didn't turn on location new york you can see that and it works it's not the smoothest experience maybe it's because i'm not using a touch screen uh, but in general like this application works and another thing too is like the Google search app, for example, you can see that it does resize. It looks to be that because my device is dark mode, it also puts it in dark mode or it's just my account settings setting it to dark mode. But it's got the same thing. Uh, it works. It's a little slow, but it works. If you truly just want the Google search app on your computer, you can do that. We can type in uh, Prince Andrew, uh, Jeffrey Epstein. And then let's see what happens when we actually click on a link. Let's see where, where it goes to. Okay, so then it opens up my web browser, my default web browser that I set in Windows settings. So it works in general, pretty much if you want uh, third party APKs and all those things like that, you can actually get those things from say APK mirror or wherever you want, install it on your Windows 11 computer via WSA tools, makes it pretty easy to do. And that's it, that's all that happens. Now there's one last thing I wanna show you guys uh, because I, I ran into this issue when I was trying to get this to work, which is why this video is so late. And it's that um, to, when you first try to get WSA tools working and you don't know whether or not you got to use to open up the Amazon App Store and sign in and stuff, um, this is a setting that you're supposed to look at in the subsystem for Android that they want to look at. So uh, let me just type in subsystem for Android settings. And then when you scroll down here, uh, they want you to make sure you have developer mode on in settings and then manage developer mode. And then you can go through and just make sure that uh, what they tell you on the website is good. AB, ADB stuff is just working. Um, just take a look through it. Take your time. You're going to have to look at some demos. It took me so long to figure this out, um, but it works now and it's smooth. Um, but obviously the support is not 100% clean with performance, but if you just want some applications from in Google Play on your Windows 11 PC on top of the Microsoft Store, on top of Win32 stuff, uh, now you have all kinds of options and it's so much easier, at least if you're a little bit more advanced of a user, it's so much easier to have those things. So that's why I really like this application. Thanks to Simone, Simone uh, Franco for building this application so that I don't have to use command line. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Take care and stay tuned for Thursday's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.